Jackson Radio Show. Welcome back, everybody. Kevin Jackson here. So the left wanted to tie DACA into the immigrant, into the um, tax bill. So the dreamers, these are kids brought over by their parents and illegally because their parents are here illegally. And then these kids come over and they say, well, you know, my kid's now here. He doesn't know anything about Mexico or El Salvador or whatever. And so we're supposed to go, oh, well, geez, you know, well, I get it. And yeah, they don't know anything about it. So you came over illegally, committed a crime, and it's all good. And we're, we're it's, they're going to throw this into the Dream Act. And I argued on Fox and Friends. It was off air mostly with uh, 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 Harris Faulkner, who says, "Kevin, what are you going to do?" And I said, "You know, how do you how do you legislate this?" I said, "Look, I feel sorry for kids that come over and don't know anything about their culture." And and between all of, I think most conservatives would say, "Look, we." Let's not just throw these kids to the wolves, but we need to have a cutoff and we need to send some of these people back to go live with family because that, that's where they're from. There's somebody that can help out. We've already sent aid to most of these countries. So you got to deal with your own problem. But these kids got to get in line through the legal system and you know, we'll we'll figure out a way to, to, you know, to bring them back legally, but they can't stay here. And I don't think that's unreasonable. But. As I said to Harris, what's the cutoff? Because whatever the cutoff is, I guarantee you, the left will say, oh my gosh, but look at who it doesn't impact and look at how bad they're going to roll out person after person. The 16-year-old honor student who did right, but they're not going to tell you the bad stuff. And that's what I want to talk about right now. Why doesn't government, why isn't it truthful to you about what the statistics really are? If there's anything that I hope Donald Trump continues to do, is that he takes these statistics that these guys throw out willy nilly. And he says, I'm going to give you the real statistics on Muslim rape culture. I'm going to give you the real statistics on black on black crime or black crime in general. I'm going to give you the real statistics of, you know, women abuse in America, whatever. I don't care what it is. Give us the real thing and let, we can figure it out, but they won't do it. I've told you guys, I'll say it to to my dying breath. There are things that the government doesn't want to tell you, but it's never good when they, like I'll use the statistics of race. They don't want to tell you about race when it doesn't benefit them. If you knew that black people were taking advantage of some piece of legislation disproportionately, the government's never going to let you know that because their narrative is, Blacks are depressed. Like, let's say affirmative action is just completely paid for itself 10 times over. And blacks have squandered it, which they have. So would the government come out and go, well, look, affirmative action has now been 10x. We've done the studies and it's well past its usefulness, whatever. They never tell you that. Now, tell you what they will tell you. They'll fudge the stats and tell you white people get over over this or that. I say that as a black man who knows that the government will sell its soul to make white people look like they're evil or whatever. And I would venture to tell you, if you ask the average black kid, Hey, who's the dominant race in the world? You know, who's got the most people they will tell you white people and white people are nowhere near the dominant people. 1.5 billion Chinese alone. We're not even talking about Japanese and South and North Koreans, which, you know, Koreans, let's just say Koreans, uh, Filipinos and, and, uh, you know, other forms of Asia. If, if you just looked at Asians, they're a huge population. Look at the number of Muslims. Look at the number of Africans. And then go look at the number of white folks and, and it'll blow your mind. White people aren't even close to being the largest population in the world. But you think it. So we've got them lying to us. And one of the biggest lies is this lie over immigrants being solid citizens. And here's the thing. If leftists fought as hard for veterans as they did for illegals, veterans would have homes. They would have jobs. They would be uh, valued members of society across the board, and we wouldn't have 22 suicides a day or whatever the number is. But they don't care. 
if they cared half as much about truly educating young black kids as they do about allowing illegals to come in for votes, black kids would be educated. You wouldn't need affirmative action to get them into colleges and things like that. But they don't care. But I want to give you these statistics. This was on Tucker Carlson. This will interest you. This evening, we've got brand new numbers, striking numbers that have never been seen before, and they may reshape how you think about illegal immigration. So you've heard the same line a million times. It's repeated like a mantra by the left during every debate on the subject. All immigrants are hardworking and law abiding. They do jobs you wouldn't consider doing and they do them cheerfully. They sacrifice for their families in ways you probably don't. In fact, and this is always the last point, it's always delivered with the confident satisfaction of someone shutting down a debate with superior data. Undocumented immigrants actually commit fewer crimes on average than native born Americans. Not only are immigrants more virtuous than you are, but they're safer to be around. In other words, stop complaining. They're your superiors. But wait, are we sure that that is true? Are people who are in this country precisely because they were willing to break our immigration laws really less likely to break other kinds of laws? It doesn't make a lot of sense. Yet until today, strangely enough, no one could say for sure whether it was true because reliable statistics didn't seem to exist. Our government tracks pretty much every trend and every phenomenon you can think of, from how many pounds of pistachio nuts are recalled every year to how many fifth graders are injured on swing sets, how many people die in bathtubs. This is a nation of record keepers. We're overseen by an army of spreadsheet-wielding bureaucrats. Numbers control our lives, except on this subject. Somehow, the government went for years without honestly trying to track the volume of crime committed by illegal immigrants in this country. Maybe they were too incompetent to do it. More likely, they didn't want you to know the answer or to think about it even. In any case, we now for the first time have the actual numbers, and here they are. According to statistics from the U.S. Sentencing Commission, non-citizens are actually far more likely to commit serious crimes than Americans are. Non-citizens account for 22 percent, more than a fifth, of all federal murder convictions, 18 percent of fraud convictions, 33 percent of money laundering convictions, 29 percent of drug trafficking convictions, and 72 percent of convictions for drug possession. Meanwhile, the non-citizen percentage of the American population, about 7 percent. So that is a massively disproportionate amount of crime, not even close. No, immigrants are not more law-abiding and less dangerous than Americans. That's totally untrue. Indeed, it's the opposite of the truth. Non-citizens are more likely to be arrested, convicted, and imprisoned for serious crimes than people who were born here. Much more likely. So why didn't we know this until now? Why have so many people been lying to us about this for so long? That's a question we plan to ask a whole bunch of people. All right, everybody, welcome back. So those are the real numbers. The illegals are far more likely to commit crimes. And I'm talking violent crimes, even more so than black teens. Why doesn't the left want you to know this? Why do they hide these statistics? You know the answer. Ask them. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.